Hello everybody, Pete Ulibre here. Thanks for coming back to the channel. I got something really cool I want to show you. Uh, there's been a lot of talk out there, especially with Tech Disc. I've been using Tech Disc since it first came out. Uh, it's a really incredible product. If you have not tried it yet, please go get yourself one if you can afford it. Really incredible training tool. It's helping us learn exponentially fast on how to coach, how to teach, and the understanding of flight. I've been talking about this principle for a very long time. I want to show it to you. Uh, I've always said the last point of contact dictates our nose angle. That's what our last video was about. And so what that means is, you know, everybody talks about pouring the coffee or pouring the water. What happens is they begin pouring as if it's a 10 gallon jug and they over torque their wrist or they over exaggerate it. Now, if we over exaggerate our wrist, what's awesome to find out is that when it gets to the hip point, it wants to go up, which means if we overdo our wrist, look what it does. The disc nose wants to go up. Now here's the interesting thing. If I go like this, what do you think is the nose of the disc? And most people, if I'm throwing towards you, would say, this is the nose of the disc. But I, I always kind of argue that point because, well, the disc doesn't just pop out of our hand like this, right? The disc, if I'm holding it here, rotates out of our hand and our last point of contact ends up being right around three to five o'clock right in here. So as I go through, boom, boom, last point of contact is somewhere in there. Now, what that means is that there's something going on at that point. And this is the main thing I want to share with you guys today. Uh, in the last video, I talked about gyroscopic precession a little bit. There's a, there's a tool I made uh, a couple weeks ago that I showed some friends. And it was basically, I attached a fidget spinner to a disc. And that way I could spin the disc and show what happens when we put forces into a gyroscope because once the disc is spinning, it's gyroscopically stabilized. The more spin you have, the straighter or the more narrow the flight envelope that you throw with whatever disc you throw with is going to be. The less spin, the more that disc is gonna move left to right. This didn't work that well. It worked well enough for people really to feel and see what was going on. But today I went and made a better one. I took a new fidget spinner with really good bearings, glued it to the center of the bottom, drilled a hole in the top and took a axle from an RC car, a, a CV joint from an RC car and, and attached it to it. That way I could hang it here and I could show, and this thing works incredible. So let's go through the science of this real quick. Right here, by accident, I got a force. So let's talk about this. Uh, if I push down on this side of the disc, we're gonna assume that this closest to you is the nose of the disc. If I push down on this side of the disc, you would expect that to go up because our fulcrum is here. If I push the back of the disc, you'd expect the nose to go up. Just the same as if I push the front down, you'd expect the back to go up. But the rules change when we put a disc into spin. It becomes gyroscopically stabilized. And so if I spin this disc up and I push down on our side, this is going towards you. If I push down here, what is your prediction? Write your comments, pause, write your comments below. What is your prediction? Is this side gonna go up? What's gonna happen? You've unpaused, here we go. Ready? I'm gonna spin it up. What's gonna happen if I push down here? Do you see that? The nose goes up. Now let's check it out again. I'm gonna redo it. Let's spin it. Okay. I don't like the way it's leaning there. There we go. What happens if I push here? The nose goes down. The reason being is when we have a gyroscope and we put a force into that system, the effect of that force takes place, takes effect 90 degrees down the chain. That's what's going on here. That's what basically is going on when we throw a disc. Now, what I want you to understand is I'm not so certain that when we throw a disc, that through here it's gyroscopically stabilized because it's attached to us and we're levering it from the edge. But according to the data I have pulled up from Tech Disc, through the swing, my swing has a negative number here because it's coming in, opposite of my spin. It comes in and from here through my swing, it reads about three quarters to a half, a half a turn to three quarters of a turn. And then at this moment, it's the last snap. We've built up all this kinetic energy 
The disc right here at this point has to come out of our hand because it weighs about eight pounds worth of kinetic energy blowing out of our hand. And what happens here is from here to here, the RPMs, it's, it itself is feeling RPMs being added into its system. Now, because it's attached to us, I'm not certain that it's a gyroscope. But according to the data, it's feeling, or at least giving, taking on the gyroscopic tendencies. Why is it working this way? If it's not fully spun up, I don't have that answer. But what I do know is this thing seems to be feeling at the moment of release, some form of gyroscopic stability is taking effect inside of it and the effect takes place. So you've seen, go like this. When you throw, you're gonna throw nose up. Why? Like all the old school guys knew it. If you want to throw an, an air bounce, you go like this, push your thumb down, that nose goes up and you can throw the disc that'll be rising into the wind. If you want to throw nose down, we got to do the opposite of that. So you've seen the video where they talk about going like this and tossing the disc over your wrist. Well, it's hard to do that, especially with the elbows up. You, you've only got so much movement, but if you get your hand into that position, you're going to find that it's going to be easier to throw nose down. It's not just pouring the coffee. If we over pour it, we're going to tweak our wrist. If we line it up in our forearm, we're going to find that we're going to be able to get the nose down. But that's the main thing I want to show you guys is that when we have a spinning object, you push down here, nose goes up. When we have the spinning object, if you want to throw nose down, you've got to have somewhat of an upward force causing that side to go up so that 90 degrees down the procession chain, the tail of the disc goes up and then the back end of the fulcrum, the nose goes down. It's good talking to you guys. Thank you for spending some time on my channel. Subscribe below. Uh, I'll leave a link for tech disc below. If you use that link, it help me out in the future. Um, either way, go get yourself one. They're pretty rad. See you guys in the next one.